Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to take and make notes on your Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 series. So in the past, I have used a tablet in order to take notes. You can see some of these uh, notes here. And I use two note taking applications, which I'll be going through in this video. So the first application is Note Shelf. You can download this for free off of Google Play. The next app is Samsung Notes. This should come with the tablet itself. So I'll have timestamps down below for both note taking applications. At the end of the day, guys, which application you use is up to your personal preference. Again, these applications are both free to download and use. So it's not like one is paid, one is free. Uh, I don't think any paid applications for note taking are well, good or even available in the Play Store. So let's start off with a uh, note shelf. Again, if you want to see Samsung Notes, timestamp down below. So first of all, when it comes to the note shelf application, you need to understand how to use the app. So let's just go uh, to uh, the application itself. And so you can see here, we have a categories. And if you tap on the plus here, you can create a brand new category. So let's just create uh, a brand new category real quick. So we'll just do like this, done, create. And you can see now we have essentially a folder where we can put all our notes. So let's say you are a student, you can have each folder for each subject. If you don't want to create folders, you can always just go to my notes here and all of your uh, notebooks will be in one place. So you do not need to create a folder in order to just create a notebook. Now, all we need to do is we just need to tap on the plus here in order to create a notebook. So let's just tap on it here. You can see we have quick create. Uh, if we uh, tap into settings here, you can change uh, all of, you know, how your uh, page is going to look. So if you do want to do this, which I do recommend personally, you can obviously customize this. I do recommend you don't use a plain document. Instead, use a ruled on, uh, right here. We'll go back and then we'll just tap on quick create like so. You also do have the option for a new notebook, import documents. This could be a PDF scan or a, another, uh, whatever this application is called, note shelf uh, document. You can import a photo or scan documents. So let's just tap on quick create here and you can see it has created a brand new document. So first of all, uh, all we need to do is we need to learn how to use this application. So you see that look here? Uh, well, how it works is uh, initially you can navigate, you know, using your fingers, all that good stuff. And when you want to take a note, what you need to do is you need to lock the page. And when you lock the page, uh, what it will do is you can still swipe around, but you can't zoom in and out, right? And so this is useful because if you want to take your notes, your yes pen out, right around, and you can see it's not, you know, zooming in, zooming out on the page. Now, what we need to do is we just need to do a simulated, you know, uh, zoom and zoom out and you get the lock. You can tap on that to unlock. So when you are taking notes, you want to make sure that you are in the lock state because sometimes when you are taking notes, your palm will accidentally zoom in, zoom out the uh, screen. So it's just something to keep in mind. Now you do have the uh, tool itself. So if you tap on it, uh, you can see we have a bunch of options here. So we can change the uh, size of the pen. We can change the uh, pen type and we can change the color here as well. If you swipe across, you do have more options. Then we have the highlighter tool. So this is used to highlight stuff. So you can see here, you know, highlight all that good stuff. If we tap on it, we do have the same customization. Then we have the eraser, and that can be used to erase stuff. Now, one thing to keep in mind, guys, is you don't need to tap on the eraser to erase documents. On the S Pen itself, you see that button, you hold on that button, and that's an example of what you're not meant to do. So you may have noticed uh, what I was trying to say is if you hold down uh, this button here, it will bring up the eraser tool. However, you can see it said it brought up the camera. The reason why is because the S Pen has to be decently close to the actual tablet itself for that to work. You can see now it's showing up the eraser by click and release. You can see there the S Pen actually has to be close if it's too far. Uh, I've never really had this uh, mistake, you know, when I'm actually taking notes, but of course I'm, you know, recording the video. So yeah, you do need to make sure you are close and then you can see, you make the note. Hold down on the button and erase and it really is intuitive uh i do think in some ways this is actually better than the apple pencils double tap to change because sometimes the double tap doesn't register uh, i do i do think though the physical button uh you do need to, it's a bit of a learning curve to actually get the right positioning uh, but once you do get the positioning everything is great and you have the uh, text tool here so you just double tap and it'll create a brand new text field you see the uh, side here this is where you can change everything and if you just grab the borders I accidentally screwed up there, so I lost my text note. If you grab the borders, you can see you can move this around as well. And of course, you can type, enter, and you just minimize here. Tap on the empty space, and you're good to go. Double tap again uh, inside of the uh, box, and you can edit the text right here. So I'm going to personally do, so I'm just going to remove all this text. And I'm just going to go like that. 
tap on the empty space and you can now see the uh, text box has been removed then we have the select tool here so all you need to do is just select an area like so so what this is going to do is it's going to grab all this stuff right here so you have all these options and uh, what you can do with the pen itself is you can use it it's a bit glitchy so you took me two attempts there but you can see i can use it to move the text around so let's say i was writing and i was like this and then i was like that by accident if i wanted to move this o next to everything else i would just select takes two attempts move just like that we're good to go if i wanted to move the text select everything drag just like that so then you have the uh, no s pen mode here so what this does it just means that you can navigate the um you know the application with the s pen uh without you know having you know any drawings or select tools made if you want to get out of this mode you just select another mode and just like that you are good to go now we have this uh, shape option here so if it's uh, grayed out like this it's not on you tap on it to turn it on so what this means is every drawing you do will be recognized as a shape so if i draw a circle you can see it will make a nice and perfect circle let's do a um parallelogram it looks a bit like more like a rhombus but i'm sure i didn't do each side perfectly so you can see it drew a parallelogram here let's do a triangle <laughs> kind of screwed that one up let's try that one more time and uh, oh my i'm not the uh the best artist but there you go you can see it does draw a triangle right here so turn it off then we have the share feature so you can share the current page all pages all selected pages and you can share that to social media or to the files app let's say you want to pull it on the next external ssd you can do that as well and then you have the pages here so what you may notice is there's only one page right and if you tap on edit you can see the only option is to duplicate a page however what if you just want to create a brand new page outright so if you have one page only you can either swipe uh, to the left or swipe to the right and then you just tap on add a new page right here you can also add from a template photo import and uh, document scan so we'll just tap on add a new page it will use the presets as you used earlier and you can see in order to go through each page you have to swipe left or swipe right if you swipe to where there is no page it will ask you of course to create a new one and another thing as well so if you tap on here you can tap between both pages like so note shelf is a great note taking application however for me what i did personally is i did switch over to uh, samsung notes and so we're going to take a look at that now so let's move over to samsung notes here so let's just open up uh, the notes application and this is the uh, application which is pretty darn decent uh you know it does have some pros and cons compared to um uh, you know the regular uh, note shelf application i did an entire test uh, using this application here you can see that is the uh, test and it keeps on uh, going but yeah, i think it ends here but you can see i have used this uh to you know take notes and so when you first open up the application you want to make sure the triple lines is selected so you have all notes shared notes recycle bin and folder so everything here is self-explanatory although if you do want to have each subject you know in a folder you just tap on manage folder here and you create a new folder so let's let's do that together create folder and we'll just do test spelt it wrong you can choose the folder color you tap on add tap into that folder and you can see you can create another folder you can rename it delete and change the folder color so let's go back let's tap on that folder you can see let's say this is a subject you can just tap on the create note here you can also do that in the all notes area you can see the create note here uh, option here is available so let's tap on create note and you can see it does give you a step-by-step -step instruction but i don't need to follow that because i've used this app before and let's get right into it so right now it's going to bring you into the uh, uh, notes application and so i don't know for sure if you're going to have you can see here i already have like these uh these outlines here i'm not 100 percent sure if you would also get those and so what we need to do is we'll just tap on the triple lines here page template make sure if the default is set like this and you don't have any uh, background triple lines page template and you set this to so you have a uh, lines and guys having lines just helps so that your text that you write is straight or the notes even you write is straight and then we'll tap on the triple lines background color and you can change uh change the color here so that just changes the color of the background i do recommend you have that at white however of course you can do whatever you want now these other stuff you can mess around with personally i would recommend you don't it's not really necessary and so in order to take notes you can see you do have the tool here and we have the pen tool you can change which brush uh, type you have this is changes the uh, size of the brush so you see large size and if we reduce it 
we have the small size here. So I personally wrote in a size 12, if you're wondering. And then if we tap on it again, you can see so you can change the color that you're writing with as well. You tap on that and you can choose, you know, the exact hex values of the color if you would like. Now, you also have the option for no matter how much pressure you put on the screen, you can see the stroke size is the same. And then you have a pressure sensitive one. So keep in mind, guys, this S Pen, if it uh, focuses here, this S Pen, you can't like, you know, you know how when you have like a regular pencil and it's really large. And if you go on the sides here, you know, everything's like really thick. And if you go like here, it's really thin. This is only pressure sensitive. So low pressure to high pressure. I don't know if you can really tell that much. Low pressure, high pressure. It's, it's, it, I'm not doing it very well, but it does work at the end of the day. And then we have this tool right here. This is the highlights tool. So if you want to highlight your text, tap on it. And you can, so you can change the type of highlighter, the size. And this right here is the opacity. And you also have the color here as well. And we have the eraser tool. So this will erase stuff. Now, you don't really, you never want to be tapping on the eraser tool. Instead, bring your uh, S Pen near to the tablet. And then you can hold down this button. See that button, you hold it down and it will automatically bring up the eraser. You can see here, even though the brush is selected, boom, just like that, it's erasing. Now, if you bring it too far away, it may bring up the camera app. Let's see here, it actually doesn't. So a note shelf, it does. I guess that's poor optimization. Oh, there we go. You can see it'll bring up the camera app. So when you're holding down this button, make sure you hold it down near the tablet. If you're too far away, the camera app does load up. Then we have the select tool. So you just select the text and you can see you have all these options here, or you can just move this around like so. And then the brush types, uh, the brush colors, these are just for a quick change. Of course, you can change them inside of here as well. And then you have the brush thickness here, so you can change that, of course. One, thin, and if we tap on it, 100, thick. Again, guys, you can change the thickness inside of here as well. Then you have the undo tool, so undo stuff, redo tool, redo stuff. And then you have the text feature here. So if we tap on done, what this does is you write out or, top, you know, how do you say it? Handwrite the stuff. So we'll just do hello. And you can see it types out as text. You may want to use it. You may not want to use it. You do have all these options here. You have to backspace, all that good stuff. I'm not going to use it. And then you also have this tool right here. This essentially rotates your text. So we tap on it. You can see. It's hard to show. Let's go like this. You can see the text is being rotated. I've never personally understood the use of this tool. However, it exists if you do want it. And then, of course, you do have this right here. So if you have any text written out, so if we just write some text here, like so, and use this tool. Clearly, my handwriting isn't good enough, but it'll recognize any text you have written out and convert it into, you know, keyboard text. And we have this tool right here. So this tool changes the current color of the text. So let's say I want, you know, blue like this. Just highlight the text you want to change. And you can see it does change the color. Now, we'll also change the size as well. So if I want to thicken my text, you can see it's a pretty darn cool feature. This, this, this is only stuff Samsung would offer. So then you have this tool right here. This is the magnifying tool. So this is used to make everything perfect. You can see uh, I have this magnified view and this is writing whatever is here. So I'm going to reduce the size of this. So let's go like 19. You can see you can use that to make everything perfect when you're writing. You may want to use this, you may not want to use this. And then you have the shape tool. So when you tap on it, when you draw shape, it's going to make the shape look perfect. So let's say I draw a triangle. It didn't work. There you go. You see, it took a bit of time, but it actually draws out a proper triangle. Let's do a circle. And you can see it draws out a circle, all that good stuff. And then you have the lock tool. So you can see canvas is locked. So I mean, that's self-explanatory. And you need to use two fingers to scroll. Of course, you can unselect that. And if you do use the uh, tool uh, for shapes, make sure you unselect that one as well when you are done. Then you have this tool right here. So this allows you to change the title uh, of your work. Then you have the attachment. So you can uh, insert stuff, an image, uh, you know, camera picture, scan, PDF document, voice recording, all that good stuff. You can mess around with that. Then you have the triple lines. And you have the share tool here as well. So here's the deal, right? You can see uh, the page size is, you know, limited. So how do we change the page size? Well, all we need to do is we just need to keep on drawing. So if we just draw here, you can see it does give me extra page space. So I'm on the bottom here one more time. You can see it will increase the total page of the space. So you can't manually add pages 
just an infinite scrolling like so and um yeah so let's just make a title for this let's do jjj go back let's go back you can see that is my work right here so depending on which type of guy you are or girl i uh, don't want to you know discriminate you may prefer the samsung notes app or you may prefer note shelf when i was taking notes personally i use samsung i, I prefer samsung notes the note shelf is still a pretty darn decent application because your samsung notes is made for the samsung devices so i just prefer it more let me know what note taking application you use on your tablet uh, samsung galaxy tab uh, in the comment section down below and with that being said thanks for watching see you guys later Bye bye